But let's get started. We are going to be converting NL1 files to KMZ files. So we'll open up Spray View. And uh, we have to load in our polygons. So I'll go to the Open Area folder. And here are all of the polygons here. There's a lot of them. But when you do the conversion to KMZ files, you only get one polygon. In this case, it would be the offload NL1. Now you can you can select all the polygons if you want, but you're going to get just one. So I'm going to select the offload, which will automatically pull in the data from the offload folder, and one more polygon just to make that work. So we will open. Here's the polygon here. and I can play the data. To convert this data to KML, we will go to the open menu, convert spray data, AgNav to KML. It's asking us the name, it says offload, I'm going to go with that. And here's our form that we can fill out. When you uh, do the conversion, the form information comes from the Kia. And if you select Use Default, this information comes from Spray View, saved from the last time you generated a uh, report. Or you can go to Load Default Information. And I have some settings in Report Settings. And um, this is for quick report, and this is report with map, and this is uh, Google Earth. They each have a different setting. So when you save it, I just named it with the Google Earth or quick report or report with map. So you can open those up, <clears throat> and you can get your um, data that way, and if you select default, it'll go back to the information from Spayru. So we will generate a KML file. And it's done. You might want to convert all the polygons in Google Earth. That's what I would want. And it makes it easier to see the assignments that the pilot had. It's not too difficult. Um, we have to make a project, so we will go to the open menu, select create project, and select. And uh, so we're going to select all these polygons. We can hit Control A on the keyboard, or I can just uh, left click and drag through them all. Open. That looks good, and then we will go to Save Project. I can rename this, so I believe I will. And I'm going to rename it Egg Project Offload. And Save. It's important to click the finish. We have made a project, project offload, and so I want to convert that into a KMZ. I will uh, open it. Here it is, double click. And I have to add in the flight data. Open. 
and uh, play it. Okay, we're done with that. We will go to the menu, convert spray data, AgNav to KML. The Ag Project offload name is perfect, so okay. Here is the form again. We will generate the KML file. The conversion is done. And you'll notice the address and OK. The KMZ files are in the workup folder, so let's go see if we can find them. The first one we did with the single polygon is the offload, and the one we just did now is the conversion of the project. So let's take a look at that. Here's our offload and the polygons out on the islands here. And we'll zoom into these right here. And if I turn off the flight path, you'll see the spray coverage. And if I turn off the spray coverage, you can see all the polygons. So I'll put those back on. And the uh, flight path is plotted with altitude. So if you tilt Google Earth, you can actually see the altitude. And we'll tilt it a little more. That's kind of cool. You can see the altitude here. And we can go into the flight path properties and OK. Go into altitude and extend path to ground. That's kind of interesting. OK. And it will show you a better view of all the flight altitudes. Also, we will take a look at the report. And here it is here. And if you've selected spray points when you did the conversion, then you can turn the spray points on. We'll see what those look like. And spray points are right here. Turn them on. And we have all these little points. And you can click on them. And you'll get a little report for each point. It's pretty interesting. So that's it. Thank you very much and have fun with Google Earth.